They opened their doors for business after making a major change to keep the lights on. As of now, Governor Greg Abbott's order has Texas bars shut down to reduce the spread of the virus. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is live in the newsroom with what local bars are doing. Well, after being shut down for almost a month, local bar owners are reopening their business as restaurants with an approved license change. This allows them to reopen, but with some restrictions. I have to sell at least 40% of my volume has to be food. Border City Ale House now open to the public with a new license from the Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission, but it can't function as a bar like before. Under the new license, businesses must have a full kitchen, at least 10 menu items, and less than 60% sales from alcohol. Then you take pictures of the restaurant, the kitchen, uh, the menu you send a copy of it in, and also an affidavit that you have to get notarized. Patrons also must order food to drink. We don't allow someone to just come in and order, in order chicharrones and do, you know, 10 beers and 10 shots. The bar owner says opening a restaurant is better than nothing at all. The intention is to be able to get people employed again, uh, get them back to work for one thing. Another El Paso bar owner also making the switch. The owner of El Rey Muerto and El Paso Draft House saying people unaware of the status change thought he was violating the governor's orders, but he said he's cleared with the TABC. They did ask for menus, um, a picture of the kitchen, and uh, basically the layout just to make sure that it's legit, you know? Keep in mind, restaurants can only open at 50% capacity. With the license changes, bar owners say officials are keeping a close watch. We've had undercover yesterday um, coming in and asking questions, making sure we're at the right capacity. Um, I've had sheriffs come in and I've also had PD. That's how insane it is right now. The TABC says at least 36 businesses in West Texas have requested to change their status to a restaurant. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right.